In this video, I want to show you how to use the Samantha font with the Babel Map application in Inkscape. Um, you can use Character Map that comes with Windows, but it's quite small. I like to use Babel Map, and I've seen in the Facebook groups that I'm in over the last few days at least seven to ten people either post or comment on posts saying that they don't use the Samantha font because they can't get to the extras or the pretty swirl letters. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So I've went ahead and I've typed out some words and um, I've got them in Samantha font. That's the number one thing. You want to make sure that you have them typed out in Samantha font. And then I've opened open Babel map. Now when you First, open yours. You may have a blank screen. There's nothing there. Uh, the first thing you want to do is come down to selected Unicode block and find private use area. Select that. Make sure it's single font, Samantha font, and you want this to be about 16 or 18. Uh, it may look kind of small down here, but if you right click on the letters, you get a big preview window. And you can see all the letters much, much better than what you can see um, using character map in Windows. So let's scroll down here to the S. Capital letters are off first, and then um, the lowercase, and then the words and the extra decorations. So let's find the letter S. Okay, here we go, and it starts here. So I'll just right click and I'll scroll through until I find one that I want. And I think I kind of like that one. So I'll left click on it and it'll show up down here in the box. Again, if you have this smaller, um, you know, if you have it set at 20, 22, 24, you're not going to be able to see your entire letter. So that's why you want it set at about 18 or 16. Um, it doesn't really matter too much because if you right click up here, you're going to be able to see what it looks like. Okay. So once it's down here in your buffer box, just uh, left click and highlight it and then go to copy and come back to Inkscape. Make sure your text tool is selected and left click and highlight your S that you want to change and then right click and paste. Now it may show up like this, but that's okay. Just scroll out and scroll back in and it'll be there. Um, and if you have to scroll way out to see it, that's, that's fine too, because once you change it to an, a path, it's going to come show up the way that it's supposed to. Okay. Um, so let's go back to Babel Map and let's find a lowercase a. And they start here. And I want one that has maybe this one. Or let's see. Maybe this one. Left click on it. Now, if your S is still here and you have an S and an A, just hit clear and left click on it again and then left click and highlight, copy, come back to Inkscape, make sure you have your text tool and highlight the letter you wanna change and then right click and paste. And again, it's not showing up right, just uh, scroll out and scroll back in. And then once you have it, you know, the way that you want it, then go to path, object to path, ungroup, path union. And you know I do those three steps so that I don't have issues in design space with text flow errors. Now you can thicken this font by going to uh, path outset and yours may be set too high. Uh, for the purposes of cutting, I have changed my default to a half a pixel instead of the two, three or five, whatever it's set at default. You can change that by going to edit preferences, um, behavior, and you can scroll up and down until you find behavior and steps. And then over here in inset, outset, I changed that to 0.5 thousand. See, these are set at five pixels. Um, if I wanted a five pixel outset, I would just do a linked offset, okay? So that's how you change that. Um, 
and I know I showed you that in a previous video, but that's okay. I'll show you in this one too. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to um, Babel Map. Actually, let me type just the letter A. And let's change that to Samantha font. And let me make that a little bit larger just so you can see it better on screen. And then go back to Babel Map. Now I want to come down all the way past the lowercase until I get to these words here. I can right click and I can scroll through. There's after, announcing, before, featuring, Friday, all these words here. So I'm going to choose featuring. I'm going to do clear first just to make sure that my letter uh, A was gone. So I'm going to left click and highlight, go to copy, come back to Inkscape, make sure my text tool is selected, highlight that A, and right click and paste. And it pastes that whole word, um, even though I only had the letter A there. And it, you know, it didn't say featuring. So um, then you can make that a path and that's ready to cut. If you look down here, it tells you it's a path, okay? These are still text. Okay, so let's go back to Babel Map again, and let's choose um, some of these decorations down here. Let's clear everything first, and let's click just, how about this one? And then we'll left click and highlight, copy, come back to Inkscape, make sure my text tool is selected, highlight the whole word, and you could only have a letter, that's fine too, and then paste. And then you have a pretty decoration for your design. But if you look down here, it is still text. So you have to do path object to path, okay? And it's pretty much that simple. So. Um, let's do this one more time. Select your word, make sure that it's in Samantha font, go to your text tool, and make sure that it's in Samantha font, and then go to your Babel map. And one more thing I want to show you is um, you can select more than one um, letter or decoration, whatever it is that you want to choose. Highlight them all, copy, come back to Inkscape, highlight your word right click and paste and it will paste all of your decorations there um, then go to path object to path ungroup and then your selection tool and then you have to deselect everything and then you can select each one um, and these are paths so these are ready to cut uh, unless you want to make them thicker okay so that's how you use Samantha font with Babel Map. I hope that you'll give it a try if you have the Samantha font. Now that you see actually how easy it is, um, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in my next video.